Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles that you'll face, and the outcome for that situation. Um, keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of someone that you're dealing with. Um, also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everyone, but if it does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below Gemini. Alright, too many. Let's do this. Bear with me today, guys. I'm moving a little slow. Going a little crappy. Alright, Gemini. Media future for Gemini. I'm not going to take this many, actually. Gemini, please. Media future for Gemini. Alright. Let's see what's going on with the gems. Alright, guys. So we have the Two of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So it's like you're moving forward towards something. Possibly, you know, trying to plan for your future, looking out. Um, maybe trying to make a decision on which path to take. You got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. There could have been an offer here. Could have been dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like you've been going and doing some self-reflection here. Um, trying to figure out, you know, how to move forward. Possibly this person, you know, kind of let you down in the past. Doesn't have to be. But with the Page of Pentacles here, there was an offer. You do have the World card. Um, so possibly, you know, you could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be. This was an offer to move forward, to start a new cycle here. Yeah, you may be guarded towards this person for some reason kind of um, taking some time to do some self-reflection here. But you do have the world there that's ending one cycle and beginning another one. So, you know, how it applies. Um, trying to figure out how to move forward, basically. Show me this Five of Wands for Gemini, please. This is in the situation of, I mean, in the position of, um, obstacles. So we got the death card here. So it's, it's definitely seeming like, you know, a cycle ending and another one trying to begin. There may have been some arguments around that, some competition, just a little bit of chaos. What is this death card? You could have been dealing with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. There's healing, and possibly this person is trying to come back and start a new cycle with you. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I try to grab the microphone. Alright. Why are they healing? Are you been doing some healing? There's Yeah, there's a lot of time. Like, four of swords, four cups, and the hermit. Damn, with the four of pentacles at the bottom. This is a lot of kind of withdrawn energy a lot of um disinterest and not disinterest in the way of this is something that has hurt you in the past or hurt someone the person that you're dealing with how it's resonating um it could have been a cancer the chariot just flopped out but This is somebody who's who's kind of, you know, been through a lot. There possibly was an ending here um, with the world and the death card. It's looking like that. And you're trying to look out or this person is, you know, trying to move forward. And there's possibly an offer. But somebody is just really withdrawn right now. Not really knowing. There's healing. But for, yeah. Possibly you cut this person out. But this is communication. Somebody is reaching out and communicating here. They're extending some type of offer, sending some type of message, trying to get some clear clarity on this. Um, the Ten of Swords is right there. 
So whether this is work related or love related, it's like there was an ending and it kind of just made somebody fall all the way back. Kind of just, you know, not even speaking, not even wanting to talk, just shut off from the world. Show me this Ace of Cups for Gemini. This is in the position of the outcome. Damn, Gemini. I think y'all had a good reading yesterday, too. You got the Ace of Cups. Shit. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles with the um, Four of Wands there. So you may have a new opportunity in love. It could be in career as well. There could be two opportunities coming towards you. Um, with the Four of Wands, they're, they're stable. It's, it's a connection. It's a commitment. Um, the Four of Wands is... Um, actually a good luck card. So it's a good one to have there. It's something stable. It's, it's, like I said, you know, it's something that's built on four walls. It's strong and there's been some effort put into it. And it's looking like somebody is trying to put in the effort here because, I mean, your outcome is beautiful. You have possibly more than one, um, new thing coming at you. Yeah. The two of Pentacles with the two of cups. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn because we have the Queen of Pentacles that popped up here. But once again, somebody's kind of been in hangman mode, not moving, not talking, trying to gain some clarity. I don't know if this is you or them, but you may have um, a decision to make here between multiple offers here. Yeah. I think you're taking your time. You're going slow making these um, decisions here. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, that is the slowest moving card in the deck. This is taking your time. But he comes forward with a solid offer. And you do have a new offer here. So I feel like it's um, possibly from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You do have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is destiny. This is fate on your side. So all this healing, all this hurt, and all this pain, whatever this has been, it's, it's coming to an end. Yeah, you've been feeling stuck or confused. Like, this is mental imprisonment that we put ourselves in. So whatever this was that happened, this ending that happened, um, there's an offer coming. And you may have to make a decision here. We have your energy here with the Queen of Swords, and I think you have multiple offers coming towards you. Or this could be a love and a job offer, like something that you've been waiting for. Um, takes a long time to uh, come to fruition, but this is a stable offer. You do have two, two offers here. And you have Destiny on your side. So this is coming for you if it hasn't already, if you don't see it. Yeah, communication about something new, starting something new. You have three aces now. And we've seen the ace of swords earlier. So, you know, keep focusing on yourself because I feel like, you know, one of these offers is really, there's a, there's a lot that it has to offer behind it. So go Gemini and there's the other ace again. You have all four aces. New, new, new. Go, Gemini. All right, guys. So I hope this helped. Hope this resonated. Don't stress. Don't be in your head because your outcome is beautiful. You have all kinds of new things coming towards you. More Taurus energy. But, um, you know, don't miss any opportunities here with this Four of Cups. That can be like, you know, sometimes we peace out so much that... Um, there's something being handed to us right in front of us and we don't even see it because your victory is here. It's destined for you. This is yours. So hope this helped. Hope this resonated. So please like and subscribe below. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.